in bracket which will give you a proper overview of your topology optimization okay so i'll just uh, I'll, I'll, no that is not required or it will not go okay so it should come with that itself so i'll take an engine bracket as your second example for solving your uh, optimized problem or optimization problems so geometry has been updated i have taken structure steel itself for that for that particular model but it is not the structure steel you need to change that material and update it right okay now you can see your geometry and i'll not make very smooth mesh or fine mesh i'm just taking an rough mesh over here so you can see this your mesh are very rough that is coarse porous mesh i have taken and i am applying a boundary condition of fixed support at all the bolt loads or bolt points bolt location as fixed okay so as you can see all the four bolt all the four bolt region has been constrained over here okay then i'll consider a load for bearing load and not create any coordinate system or any direction i'll take into our original that is coordinate system of global coordinate system z in a z direction of z okay so that i'll change here to component and change for z direction into of value around 2000 or 20000 okay i'll just consider 20000 newton okay so for i'll solve the same thing for deformation as well as a one mesh stress so and i'll same thing i'll do one thing i'll solve this but even for your fatig lifing because i have taken a default material as fatig which has given all the possible or required data for solving your uh, fatig life also okay so that you can see your fatig life how much life for 20000 load case on the lug so here i am taking as an equivalent and one cycle is equal to one and i am solving this for stress life not for the strain life okay so this is one and i am looking for the life not the damage i don't want what damage it occurs or where the damage starts and how it propagates to till failure so only like i am checking the life and what is the method of this uh life it is fully reversed or the load as it is fully reversed or how it is so i'll take that is zero basis to that your point is very low the lower basis is very minimal or you can also consider as a fully reversed itself or if you are taking a ratio you you should mention the loading ratio as minus 1 or that is it goes up and down completely or that will become minus if i take zero you can see from 1 to 0 it goes back if i take 0.5 that is it 1 to 0.5 and goes back to 1 so this is your stress amplitude or the methodology which will be applied for solving the problem okay so what i'll do i'll just consider as a fully reversed as a minus 1 ratio and again there is an option which type of stress you are considering either you are considering one mesis or principal stress or shear stress or what type of stress you are considering to calculate your life usually for lifing we calculate the principal stress methodology okay because maximum and minimum both stresses will be considered that is for for the load at 1 and also the load at minus 1 okay it will be calculated positive and negative and takes its average that is amplitude or average mean stress and calculate the life so what i'll do i'll just give an evaluate for this and you can see that at this region 
your structure is failing or will be having a life of only 8739.5 so if you want to save this for higher life either you may make a some more smoother surface or the curvature or you remove this fillet so that this stresses will be uh, dispersed over the uh, certain locations and then your structure will have a good life at this even at this so either you increase the thickness so that it has a life but or as i have taken just a bearing load of 220000 which is a not known value but in real time it might be a different okay so now the stresses are 269 which is which are well within the limit as uh, as i can say 270 mpa is my uh, <clears throat> yield point i am considering only yield so 270 is my yield and i have my, my factor of safety as one now still but life is failing okay even life is failing so i want my topology optimization for not 50 i want 40% okay my structure is failing somewhere on the lug but on the other other side the structure is not failing which has very good life as well as strength wise it, this region is very good but how do i know which how much amount of this thing uh, material i need to remove or where my material need to be reduced so looking into the topology optimization you can know where your geometry need to be removed as you can see that so this way for the particular structure you can remove your material but this shows in uncharacterized form i even see this way the surfaces is not smooth because the optimization is done that way surface is not smooth right if i want the surface is smooth you need to make in a cad way considering little bit over designing of the structure and increase the same load over the lug or the thickness over the lug which will give you a proper <coughs> uh, understanding of proper geometry yes so everyone i hope everyone has understood this so any one have a doubt for living for topology or for static structure is everyone okay you have you have got what exactly the topology or what exactly your living do again i am saying in a fatigue in a fatigue it is not only your start or uh, stress life or stain life there are different methods to solve them that is for example lefm method so typically for aerospace your fatigue life is must and should in either you do by an sn curve method by a hand calculation or you do by a tool using various fe tools nowadays they are separately been modeled like using encode or by using fe fat so there uh, there are different tools are also there to calculate the fatigue analysis of the life so which is very more more required in your in aerospace compared to automobile because aerospace is very keen about its weight reduction topology is also one of a thing light weight as well as having their margin of safety or factor of safety is one whereas automobile has certain leverages to say that your fos will be considered as 3 or 4 and they are very keen aerospace is very keen to be in the limit and accuracy in automobile it is fine somewhere like you play around is fine plus or minus your errors are there the chalta because even your bike fails or your car fails you will not fall into a huge tragedy but in aerospace even a single component fails in engine or any of the other part like for example i just say that as you in uh, your twin uh, engines uh, aerospace aeroplanes have to twin in one engine if one blade is cut off with only one three 
a small piece which will damage your entire engine that means your entire engine is damaged your half of life is in the risk okay so that is why aerospace is very accurate or accuracy required whereas in automobile at somewhere okay they believe fem okay color is coming okay your results are done so go test one test okay so that is what the major thing so for this once that is updated and again update here your project will update here and then we'll go for topology optimization to see that whether i think it should come here okay keeping this i'll do transfer your validation system okay so now it come so i need not to close this initially itself okay once this is as joined with your new geometry so what i'll do i'll update this again okay i'll update your your result is will update again once to this and once again i'll update over the geometry so this your result will be updated over this geometry okay once this is done you can close this refreshing giving a refresh to your data and then close now so once your mechanical is closed updating the geometry component in model okay once this is done you can update your geometry right click still it is updating the ones let let it update and then we'll move further from past two, two days i was trying to so in take take this to you guys because i don't know what was happening in the software okay so once this is done your geometry is updated now here so right click let us show again okay so now either you go to right click edit space claim or geometry model any one you can open and see the change in your geometry but original geometry so import right click generate बिकॉज यू आर बोथ ऑप्टिमाइज जॉमेट्री एज वेल एज यूर ओरिजिनल जॉमेट्री शुड लुक इन वन space so that you can draw over a line over that and make a change a required changes to the structure mm -hmm. this is happening right right log bar is that now to check it went off condition experience is a property ah Version to version changes a lot. No issue, no issue. We'll see that also. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why what happened. Okay. So actually, the thing is, when you do optimization, that optimization should reflect on this geometry. That is the funda of doing topology optimization and going further with the linkage of the new geometry or new model kind of thing. Okay, let me check this and come back again. Okay, so now as of now, we just seen the result over here and it has been transferred to the new thing and it will be solved or the geometry you can measure and solve it. So 